Good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right. I'd like to thank uh, all of you for being here tonight. I'd like to thank student sponsor partners, and especially my sponsor, Brian Burke, for my being here tonight. <laughs> 30 years ago, I applied to SSP, and that's when the magic began. Before being introduced to SSP, my life was not that dissimilar from the students we are still trying to help. This is why our mission is as important today as it was then. One of the last good memories that I have of my mother is going to buy crack with her as a kid. After that, I don't recall any good interactions with her. We had a front row seat to what the crack epidemic in New York City did to families in the 1980s. After an unfortunate series of events involving the police, child protective services, and foster care, my grandmother stepped in. My mother's mother would get custody of me and my older sister. Life got better. But my grandmother was a strict disciplinarian, or, as we call it today, abusive. Uh, as an adult, I have somehow rationalized her abuse, maybe even forgiven her, given the outcome. It could not have been easy losing multiple kids to the streets and now having to raise their children. All that being said, she did what she could to house us, feed us, and keep us safe. I don't know if they still do this, but I remember public schools had free lunches in the summer for kids who might not get a meal once the school year was out. My grandmother would take us from school to school, and we would collect as much food as we could. Our fridge was full of all those little milk boxes. I swear. It wasn't until years later that I realized they even made milk in the normal size containers. <laughs> My grandmother died right before I started high school, so let's say student sponsor partners entered my life at the right time. Thankfully, uh, my sister was now 18, so we just lived on our own, and we didn't have to go back into the system. Can you clue the slides, please? When I graduated from high school, the Daily News wrote an article, and it summarized my experience like this. Robert Spencer nearly flunked out of junior high school. He repeated the eighth grade and was on the fast track to trouble. Now 18, the Bronx youth graduated with honors from Cardinal Hayes High School over the weekend. In September, he will attend Duke University. My second attempt at the eighth grade was going better than my first. But still, what awaited me was a Bronx public school that would not have produced these results. Instead, SSP and Brian's generosity allowed me to attend Cardinal Hayes. Now, don't get me wrong. We'll take the money, and we are going to ask for it. But what really made the difference all happened after Brian wrote the check. Brian provided me with what I think is the most important part of this program, a broader perspective on life and the opportunities within it that, with hard work, are available to everyone. Brian is from New Hampshire. He went to Dartmouth and was working at Goldman Sachs. I was from the Bronx. I couldn't have told you what a Dartmouth was <laughs> and had never been to Wall Street, but that would soon change. Thanks to Brian, I had my first internship at Goldman while I was in high school at 16 years old. I would be the first student from Hayes to apply to Duke. Brian was at my Cardinal Hayes graduation, my Duke graduation, and even at my wedding. 
Now, if you're wondering why I don't have a photo of Brian with the bride and groom, it's because he flew all the way to Sardinia, but had a family emergency and had to leave before the ceremony. But given the distance traveled, that counts as attendance for me. <laughs> Tonight might be the first time in 30 years that he isn't here for me. He's out of town, but I swear it's really because he doesn't like the spotlight. JD and Brayden, his wife and son are here though. Please tell Brian I said thank you again. All right. <laughs> Going back, um, I graduated Duke in 2001 and I joined Goldman on the Japan equity sales team in New York. In 2010, now working in Tokyo, I'm named managing director. And who did I call first? Brian. I lived in Japan for eight years, but the first time I ate sushi was on the Upper West Side with Brian. And I was scared. I was scared to try a spicy tuna roll. I don't know if you'd blush or squirm, but if I told you the things that I ate while I lived in Tokyo, you might be as scared as I was back then. <laughs> My 19-year career at Goldman Sachs took me to Japan, Hong Kong, where I met my beautiful wife. I'd like to thank SSP for that one too. <laughs> and even Dallas, which led to my current role at Toyota. It's been quite a journey for me, from two years in the eighth grade to eight years of service on this board. Now let me share one more story with you. This is about a kid we will call Easy. Easy does not have his grandmother. Easy got picked up by the police the other day. And Easy doesn't have SSP, and Easy doesn't have a sponsor like Brian. But here's the good news Easy doesn't need SSP. Easy is our son, Ethan Zane. We live. <laughs> We live in a neighborhood where the police let Easy get in the front seat and play with the sirens. <laughs> this is the magic of SSP. It's not just my story. We have changed the trajectory of my life forever. The article concluded with, Spencer says he hopes to rejoin the student sponsor partners as a sponsor. I want to be able to help someone one day too, Spencer said. And I did rejoin as a mentor and a sponsor. My first student, Adrian Henry, is here with me tonight. Adrian is now a teacher at Pella Memorial High School in his 13th year. <laughs> When Adrian graduated from Hayes and thanked me, I finally understood Brian not wanting thanks. And when he said he's gotten as much out of this as I have, it's rewarding just to be able to help. I'm doing everything I can to give back to the organization that has given me so much, but it's not enough. I can't do it alone and I need your help. So please help us. Thank you for letting me share my story.